Well, 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 2022 is just underway for a few days, but looks like KBiz has already been overwhelmed by a bunch of great news. From Espa, who is the newest artist to achieve the precious title Rookie Grand Slam, to Twice and BTS, who were just named as the best selling artists in K pop over the past decade. Not only that, fans must be thrilled at the moment because, while Tion is gearing up for her single Can't Control Myself next week, 101 just confirmed to release Beautiful Part 3, with full the 11 members on January 27. And more importantly, Treasure, who has been absent from the K pop race for the past year, will finally come back with their first album, The Second Step Chapter 1, on February 15. However, those are definitely not the biggest plans that the big four K pop companies have been bringing up in 2022. So, are there still other incredible weapons that haven't been revealed? Okay, let's take some minutes to see what special projects HYBE, JYP, SM, and YG will be hyping fans up this year. Number 1. SM Entertainment When it comes to SM Entertainment, the company will continue to solidify their position as an entertainment powerhouse. Their major artists such as NCT and ESPA are expected to become more diligent in their activities. In particular, NCT is expected to set the greatest album sales record this year, as it has set a record of surpassing 10 million copies in total album sales last year. Additionally, a second Smtown World Tour is planned in major cities around the world. Not only that, the artist's worldview will be expanded based on SM Culture Universe, and the future-oriented concept that has grafted the metaverse is highly expected to attract K-pop fans. Number 2. YG Entertainment Talking about YG, last year witnessed the two outstandingly successful solo albums of Blackpink Rosé and Lisa. However, compared to other companies that had idle activities all year round, YG's comeback lineup was rather stagnant. As artists have been on hiatus for a long time, fans are looking forward to YG's comeback activities that will accelerate this year. Well as expected, seems like the company is trying to do everything to make up for fans. Right now, Treasure is expectedly back with a bang with their first album, The Second Step Chapter 1, which will be aired on the 15th of the next month. On top of that, there are also rumors going around that YG will soon reveal a new girl group named Baby Monster this year. But the most expected plan could probably be the strong comeback of Blackpink. Guess what? The four poster girls of YG are preparing for a world tour and a new full-length album in 2022. Oh my god. I swear I will update anything related to their comeback in the next videos, so just keep your eyes on our channel to get further information. Number 3. JYP Entertainment Moving into JYP's special projects, the company is expected to see growth in tickets and merchandise sales as concert world tours of their major artists such as TWICE and Neezy U are scheduled. TWICE is taking the lead with their world tour as all seats to each concert date are all sold out. They plan to hold a total of seven concerts in five cities in the United States in February. A two-day concert will also be held at the Tokyo Dome in April. Itzy and Stray Kids are also expected to hold tours in Japan and America, with Nizi Yu also planning a tour in Japan. With a debut lineup that brightens the future, JYP's new groups will also join the battle of the fourth-generation idol groups. In February, the girl group of the seven rookies will be making a strong debut with their first-ever album Blind Package. Meanwhile, the boy group, Loud, which was created through an audition last year, is also scheduled to debut sometime this year. And the last one, Hybe Corporation. In 2022, Hybe will be more active in major lineup activities in both South Korea and overseas. At the moment, Inhypen is kicking off the first 2022 comeback of the Hybe label, with their latest new album Dimension Answer, along with the title track Blessed Cursed, which was just released yesterday. Meanwhile, BTS, as known as Hybe's Ace, is planning to release a new album this year and planning an offline concert in Seoul in March. In the fierce competition of rookie groups, Hybe indeed thrills fans with a solid lineup that will be debuting this year. While there is a new girl group under the independent label ADOR, led by Chief Branding Officer Min Hee Jin, another new girl group will also be launched by Source Music. 
In addition, they are working with Universal Music Group to plan a debut project for a global female pop group that will take place around the world. Well, seems 3 is not enough because Hybe is also working with Hybe Label Japan to find a new boy group to work in that country through an audition program. OMG! What a productive year of comebacks and debuts! I bet that many of you guys will be flat broke at the end of this year, haha. From Blackpink who treats Blinks with their world tour and full album after ages of absence, to Twice who will still be working so hard this year, which implies that the girl group might renew their contract with JYP and keep going together longer. Meanwhile, BTS's concert seems to be their farewell before the boys go to the military together at the end of this year. Thus, a series of rookie groups of HYBE are highly expected to debut with a bang, which will fill BTS's upcoming gap. And the last but not least, SM's artists will definitely never fail you guys as they always break records whenever they come back. So which projects are you expecting the most? Let me know by dropping some comments below. Personally, I'm dying for Blackpink's comeback. That's the news for today. Do like, share and subscribe to KBiz Hub if you don't want to miss the juiciest news next time. Bye bye.